sitting here with Pastor Jay Stewart from the Refuge Church. They're adopting week one. They're kicking mm -hmm. things off right here at the Refuge. Yeah. Um, so Pastor Jay, I just want to ask, wh why have you partnered with Love Life and what would you say to someone who's maybe thinking about partnering? Well, let me start by saying, you know, as a father of four children and, and one grandson, what kind of dad would I be if during the night I heard one of my children crying out from their bed mm. and I just pulled the pillow over my head so I could drown out the cries of my mm. own child and mm. didn't respond to that? Yeah. I feel like the church of today has to respond to the cries mm. of babies who are being aborted, mm. of mothers who are desperate for some hope and for some answers. Mm. And we've just decided as a church that we cannot pull the pillow over our head. Mm. We cannot turn our ears away. We cannot turn our eyes away. Yeah. And fortunately, God has allowed us to be partnered with Love Life mm. Charlotte. We so believe in what you guys are doing. We so believe in the approach that you're taking mm. because there's no condemnation with mm. what you're doing. There is mm. so much love mm. laced on every aspect of what you guys are doing. And it was just very easy for us to get behind that. Mm. Amen, amen. So what would you say to maybe a pastor who is sitting on the fence right now, um, you know, he, he believes that abortion's wrong, he believes, he's pro, he would consider himself pro-life, but just not so much, um, you know, sure about maybe going out to an abortion clinic, mm -hmm. that might be a hang up for him. How would you respond to that? Sure, I think a lot of times we are passionate and burdened for things and we just don't know how to act. We just don't know what to do. And I think what you guys have done, Justin, is you've provided a vehicle for the church to take action mm. that doesn't bring condemnation to people, but it offers hope mm. to people. And I would say to pastors uh, that if you'll just take that step of coming out one time mm. and of praying, rallying with other believers mm. and walking, just taking that prayer walk one mm. time, you will be shocked and surprised at the impact it has on you and on the people that maybe you bring out from your church. Yeah. And I think what you'll recognize is that it is a, a, an effective and powerful uh, and I feel like a very Christ-like way to respond mm. to one of the greatest crises mm. in our nation today.